Well, on what sort of conditions do you think it would be possible to get a peace settlement? The conditions is if the other side also will feel the need for peace. Well, Colonel Nasser said to me that as far as he was concerned, the conditions for peace would be based on the UNO resolutions. How do you react to that? You mean UNO resolutions of 47? Yes. Well, those resolutions were not only opposed by all the Arab states in Egypt, for they were violated, and the Egyptian armies, together with other Arab armies, invaded Israel at the day it was established. And as we cannot bring back all our dead sons and daughters who died in that war of independence, that resolution cannot be brought back. The peace must be made on the status quo. document for Jewish rights to the land of Israel.
I condemned completely these terrorist activities. The question was, is the same message that's being presented to the world being presented to their own people? Hello. Don't you have class now? No, I am going to the Israel Apartheid Week protest. What is that? We are skipping class to protest because Israel is a racist state. Have you ever been to Israel? No. So how do you know Israel is racist? I read it is in the media. Have you read that there are Arab members of the government in Israel? No. Have you read that there are Arab officers in the Israeli military who command Jewish soldiers? No. Did you know that Arabs and Jews are both doctors and patients in all Israeli hospitals? No. Did you know that in every shopping mall, public park, and everywhere else, there are a mix of Arabs and Jews? No. What exactly makes Israel racist? I don't know. But if I read it in the media, it has to be true. Why don't you try and find some honest reporting about the Middle East? Because protesting against Israel is cool.